Oh, good morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. And welcome to another edition of Coffee with Tim. It is dark. It's so dark. I'm outside and it's cold. I'm sitting outside in our little sheltered covered area next to the RV. And it's about, oh, before 7 a.m. local time. 5 a.m. where you are back home. And I'm going to shoot it outside. I got a new toy this week. It's a little tripod stand that holds the camera and it's got this really nice LED light. I don't know how long that's going to last before we're in the dark, but uh, while we're while we have it, we'll do it. And and uh, there's a microphone that I can't get to work yet. It's still got clicking noises, so I'm um, I'm using the phone's microphone. So I hope it's loud enough for you. We'll try to get that microphone fixed. So I got high tech stuff or more tech stuff. I have tech stuff. That's cool. But I'm more concerned about the content of the video than the quality. But we're gonna we'll try to improve both. All right, Lord willing, we're gonna improve most, both to become more professional. Today is Coffee with Tim Day, it's Friday. And it's also getaway day for us. We are uh, packing up this morning to head on to our new Sowers project, which will be in uh, Brentwood. I want to say Brentwood. I'm not sure. Somewhere in uh, in Texas. It's about a four and a half hour drive west of our location. It's the Heart of Baptist, Heart of Heart of Christ Baptist Camp, and that's what we'll be serving there. And uh, it's going to be fun. I hope. This is the place that the Lord has laid on my wife's heart to come. Which may be why we've come to Texas completely in the first place. So I'm excited about that. It's always fun to meet new people, uh, new servants of Christ, and develop new relationships. And uh, the weeks that I have off sometimes are they're tough on me physically, emotionally, because I don't have a, a project to do. My wife's going to school and I have to kind of stay out of her hair. And, uh, so this will be good to get back to work and uh, serving the Lord in that regard. This last week we went to uh, the NASCAR race at Texas Motor Speedway on Sunday. I missed church and I feel the effects of missing church. I hope where you are back home that you're taking advantage of the opportunities you have to continue to assemble yourselves together. And it's so important. God ministers to you through the interactions in the body of Christ, but you gotta be involved. You've got to be involved and make yourself available. And you're a blessing to somebody else as other people are a blessing to you. And I missed that this week. I missed my home church because everybody knows me and loves me there. And I can love on people there because I know them. Uh, when we're out here on the road, it's a different church every week. And it's not quite the depth isn't there. So I miss church itself, but I miss specifically y'all back home in Valley View. And I hope that you're all taking advantage of the opportunities you continue to have to see to be together. Anyway, so we went to the race, and it was, uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you, Texas is crazy. The roads aren't marked very well. There's just all kinds of different different things here. But the signages on the, on the roads are poor. And we're using uh, Google Maps to navigate. And it would say something like, uh, uh, turn right on... Uh, uh, cut off 557 to whatever and then you pass this road and there was no sign that said it was 557 so you didn't turn on it and then you find out down the road well that was where we were supposed to turn okay so we ended up doing loops and loops and instead of a two-hour drive to the speedway it took almost three hours because we toured we went around this one loop three or four times before we figured out how to get out of that it's just that's crazy one time we're we're off the path and this is correct. We need to turn left on 8th Street. Well, we're going underneath 8th Street. There's no way to turn left on when you're underneath 8th Street. That was crazy. But we got there, so we missed the start of the race. We got there in the second stage. Or, and uh, it was a fun, loud race. And then we waited for the next race. We had, uh, had lunch and we waited and we cut the start of the next race. And then it began to mist and then they threw the... The red flag stopped the race, and they stopped it until Wednesday night. So we didn't get to see the end of the race. And we thought about going back, and if it would have been Thursday, we would have gone back to see the rest of the race. 
but they got it in Wednesday night, and so we didn't get to see the end. That was a little frustrating, but so yesterday we went. It's been rainy here. We haven't done hardly anything outside. My wife's going to school, working hard, and I'm bored. B -b 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 bored. But yesterday we went to uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. It's about an hour and a half drive west of us, and we pulled into Louisiana. We went to the aquarium, and the aquarium was on the river, the Red River. I'm going to have some coffee. I hope you're having some. And right next to the aquarium was the El Dorado Casino. <laughs> and it was just like home. They had a map, and home was on there. El Dorado owns lots of properties. But it's a, it's a, it's a barge. I wouldn't even call it a riverboat. And we got on it. We went into it. It's a building, and, and connected to it with just a... A little metal plate on the on the gap between the barge and the, the land building it was a little metal plate you stepped across and now you're on the barge well, I think the barge is actually <laughs> got piers and it's, it's anchored it ain't moving it ain't floating it's not going nowhere but technically it's a barge and it's a casino three-story casino so we went in there just to see what the difference was and it was the same $10 and $25 blackjack tables, awful high, so I didn't play any. And it's just like home. Uh, it was different though, because they called it a barge. And then we went at to uh, find a restaurant, because my wife, hi Carl, hi Jackie, uh, they know this story, so they told us, they were part of our homies in our home group, and they told us about one time eating uh, alligator toes in Florida. And that stuck with my wife. So here we are in uh, Louisiana. And uh, she found a restaurant that served alligator. So we went there and uh, we actually ate alligator. And it was interesting. It was very interesting. Made a little video called Carl and Jackie and talked to them for a minute. They told us how to, how, to, how to get that ordered. Should we get it blackened or, or fried? And so I ate alligator and she made a little video. I don't like seafood at all. I really, I'm not a seafood guy. Although I can tolerate some shrimp and some tuna. And I did have some salmon that wasn't uh, that bad. And I've had, you know, clam chowder, stuff like that. But that's, sushi's not my thing for sure. So we did that and it was fun. It was a little kind of a date and come home. And uh, so here we are, we're back home, packing up to, to travel. So it's going to be short today because I don't have, uh, I got to get this up on the, on the interweb before we shut down the computer. Uh, so the importance of fellowship, the importance of church, and not just going to church to say that you went to church, but to go into church to minister and be ministered to, to worship together, and to love on one another. It's so important, and I miss, I miss that. And I talked into the Lord this morning. I had my quiet time. And just, I miss that so bad. You could, I could feel the effect. And I miss you all. Probably going to send out a little shout out this morning, or sometime this week, to uh, to my homies, my home group. You all still reach out to me once in a while. And i got to give you all an update because you're all not on this. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Not on this video. I'm in Texas, y'all. Okay, so it's election week. I hope you voted. If you haven't voted, go do it. it. Makes a difference. Makes a difference. And pray. Just pray, Lord. Because our hope isn't in uh, a certain party or certain candidate. Our hope is in the Lord, right? And, and there's a new kingdom coming. And we got to look for that. But the quality of life that we have in this life, the freedoms we have to, to worship and do different things, uh, there's a big impact. There's a big impact. So I hope that you will, you will exercise that right, that uh, many people died to make sure we have that right, continue to have that right. There's forces in this world that are against uh, freedom and democracy, and we need to stand up for that. Exercise your right to vote. I made a, a comment uh, last week when I voted, how I voted, and that I wasn't supporting the person that I voted for so much as the character of a, of a man, but because of the kinds of things that that party was trying to accomplish uh, were important to me. 
And then I had dialogue with somebody from a different, a Christian from a different uh, persuasion. And it was interesting. It's interesting. And it just reminded us that political answers aren't our hope. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Christ is the king who is coming. And was, I'm so ready, Lord. I, if, if, I am ready for you to come. I'm thinking about the gospel, too. For I have determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And just, I read a post on Facebook, too much Facebook time. Somebody said, you can do whatever you want, but when you start telling me what to do, that's when we have a problem. And, and so I want you, hello, I want you to understand that there's a judgment coming. And the judgment's going to be on you. And I want you to be ready for it. And I want you to find that place of repentance and faith so that you can be saved from that judgment. And Christ is the judge who's coming. He's resurrected and he's coming. And so I'm not telling you what to do. You can do whatever you want. You want to go be homosexual. You want to go drinking and partying. You want to go steve and feel. Or whatever it is you want to do. You want to put your head in the sand. You want to try to take over the world with whatever... And Tifa, whatever you're doing, you can do whatever you want, but you're going to be judged for it. And I'm telling you, he offers amnesty and forgiveness if you lay down your arms and come to him. His name is Jesus Christ. He's the Son of God. And he's probably not exactly what you think he is, but you're going to answer to him. And that's my call. That's our call to you. There's a Savior who gave his life for you. He doesn't want to have to judge you. He's waiting for you to come home so you can be reconciled. But if you don't do that, you're going to get a very harsh judgment, eternal judgment. He loves you. He doesn't want to have to do that. Come home. Come home. Do what you want to do. But there's consequences, and there's judgment. And I'm forgiven. I have a Savior. I have all kinds of benefits from coming home. I am meant to be in this right relationship with God, and so are you. And you're hurting yourself every day that you continue to harden yourself. And so that's the gospel. Come home. That's our message. The message isn't, you know, if I convert you into whatever political party I have, if I, if I get you to stop abortions, eh, that's great. But you're still going to face a judgment. I need you. You need to come to grips with the Savior and the judge. And then all these things will fall into place. If you're rightly related to God, then your life will begin to reflect that. And you won't be doing all those things. So I'm not out to convince you not to do these things because you'll still go to hell. I'm out to convince you that you need a Savior. And his name is Jesus Christ. All right, that's my short little video this week. Um, that's all I got today. And I hope and pray, uh, wherever you are, that you're, you're maximizing your time left on the earth. Right? Jesus is coming soon. And uh, lay down your life for him. Because he laid down his life for you. And store up for yourselves treasures in heaven instead of on this earth. And don't love things. Use things to love people, right? That's our goal. That's our job. I miss you all so badly, so badly. But I'm making new friends. We're out here, and I'm making new friends. And you know what? There's going to be so many people in heaven, and it's okay. But I do miss the intimacy of our church. I do miss that. So, Father God, I pray this morning for safe travels for, for us as we go from here to there. And I uh, pray you make a, a welcome spot for us, a, a safe landing and, and uh, opportunity to minister. I pray for our home church, Lord, that they would know that we love them, that you love them, and that you would bless them in their fellowship and in their worship and in their time together. I pray for my listeners, Lord, there's some people still that are watching this video, if I have no idea why, that have yet to commit to Christ. And I pray, Father, that the status of their soul and the truth of the gospel would be magnified to them by your Spirit, and that they would come to know you 
with confidence and boldness and their life would be changed because of their relationship with you through Jesus Christ, your son. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the network of friends, like Greg and Debbie and Steve and Sharon and so many others that are my new sowers group. Thank you for my homies, for my family. Love you, Chloe, if you're watching. You just like it without watching it so long. Thank you, Father, for, for, my, for John and the people back home. Marlene, I haven't heard from you lately. Just reach out to you. Touch Marlene, Lord. <laughs> touch her. Thank you for April. For so many at home, Lord. Larry and Sandy, touch them again. Let's pray through the whole church, Lord. I can do that, and I do do that. Thank you, Lord. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy your coffee. I Take a minute. Just And when you re, every day when you have a cup of coffee, lift up prayer for us. We appreciate it. We need you. We miss you. All right. God bless you. And that, 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 that's all.